Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. Thomas G. White come in Saturday today, uh, April 22nd, uh, to answer some of your questions. And a lot of them had to do with SCOTUS. <laughs> Y'all don't like SCOTUS. First of all, I want to thank um, Jerry Seeger. Yes, God can give you more than you can. God. Yes, God give you more than you can handle. Okay. And um, she said, Linda, please open one on this on your show so I can see your reaction. Okay, so Jerry wanted me, Jerry Seeger wanted me to open this on the show to see what, see my reaction. Oh, a petite pair of undies. It's a polka dot bikini. I was close. A little bit of fun. It, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini. That's cute. And she included the lyrics. She wore an itsy bitsy teen. That's not even a adult size. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And then someone sent me JC Penny's double wides. Okay. So let's do a deep dive, you guys. I want to I want to ask very seriously about SCOTUS. Hundreds of questions, by the way, almost the same thing about what the hell's going on with these people. Um, and Thomas is still being an idiot. He said he wouldn't have uh, put a stay on this. He would have let it go forward and, you know, because he's, he's bought and paid for. We can't focus any kind of negative energy on him. We just need to accept who we have now, we've sort of seen what happens when you have these type of people. The only purpose that Trump, he Trump probably has paid for women to have, you know, exit stage left. But um, he's not religious at all. He doesn't go to church. He's not religious. So he does whatever this these Bible thumpers are doing. And that was the purpose. Uh, he he was told he needed to do this. The Federal Society got in there. And it's, I don't need to explain to you because you know it's pretty bad. So let's take a deep dive on this, on this abortion pill. If it goes back to the Fifth Circuit, I feel might even, I don't see them being able to put a stop to it. I feel maybe even by, I think Thomas is going to leave by the end of the year. I feel even when they they start doing this, that there's going to be so many countersuits that they'll like, okay, hold on. Tell me what's going to happen. Let's pray for the Sudan. May they have peace. Apparently in Israel, there's hundreds of thousands of people on the street over that. Netanyahu uh, deciding to pick his own um, courts. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. That's not going to happen, by the way. So there's two pills, right? There's that pill and another pill. I see President Biden being mad that the, that the Supreme Court thinks they have any right or these courts, the Fifth Circuit Court has any right to determine any medical decisions. It's not for them to do. What's the outcome on this particular pill? It's going to be successful as far as people being able. We're going to go through some ups and downs, so I don't want you to worry. But look at this. It's a nothing burger. There's going to be some blowups over this. Look, it's going to be okay, you guys. I don't want you to worry. 
New Beginnings, Bird of Paradise, Toasting the Cups. So this might not even be resolved until February of next year. There will not be, a, you know, the Republicans blew it. There will not be a Republican president for 2024. Sorry. And don't write me and tell me some third party and all this stuff. Is Joe Biden going to win as president of the United States of America? I'll take whatever you're going to tell me. Is Joe Biden? We'll ask now and see what they give me. Angel of light and mercy. We need to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Help my eyes see the truth. I know I have a, a desire for him to win, but help me at my eyes see the truth. Will Joe Biden win as president of the United States? He's going to have a tough run, I'll tell you that. But look at this. This is winning. This is winning. Um, outcome is the karmic star this is as prophesized but it's tough it's really tough you know what this thing is showing me I asked specifically if he would win the answer seems to be yes but there seems to be some sort of heartache coming up now we know Jimmy Carter's ill but some sort of unexpected death or death. Look at this. This is the, the military getting involved. Jeez, I wonder if it's Trump. Um, what's the out? Give me the truth. So they've given me the truth. And I feel like Biden has a, a, a harder time this time physically. So this is going to kick his butt. I mean, you can't be 80. Look, look, I'm not even 70. I'm, I can barely get out the bed and put down my ham sandwich to get to this computer. Donald Trump. Angel of light and mercy. We only want the truth, the whole truth. Will Donald Trump and or another Republican win as president of the United States? I just heard no. And I'm going to tell you something, that Robert Kennedy's a nothing burger. His numbers are so low, it's not even going to dent the Democrats. Well, if he's running, he can't even, if he's running, unless he's a different, right? If he's running and they have the, the thing where they pick who's going to run, it'll be Biden. Enjoy that person. Donald Trump thinks he's going to win, which is interesting. Here's the card that I have for him. He thinks he's keen for a day. Um, he wants help from international waters. He's struggling. He's fighting. He'll be nasty like he always is. His communication's upside down and his money is upside down. So he's delusional. Um no, no, he's not. And I think it's either the woman that's going to get him for an assault or it's Fanny, but there's a, a woman and a strong man who was Jack Smith. Okay, let me just ask this. Will a Republican win as president of the United States 2024? We don't have to include uh, Trump. And to Satan, I do not feel him at all. When I think of to Satan, it's just like Kennedy. It's like, nah, he's a little dictator in his little country of Florida, but he, the other states don't want him. Plus, if Trump hates him, then the Trumpsters won't vote. They might just not show up to vote. Well... A Republican win? No. No. And I told you that the Republican Party was going to change. The Republican Party is getting ready to go under. I'm telling you, there's stuff coming up. And I almost feel this is a light of illumination. 
it, maybe there's a woman that's in the forefront, but with the death card in the tower with them too. So it could be maybe somebody kills over or somebody gets taken out, but they're going to have some troubles. But I feel like them putting it back together. Just real quick, because he came to my mind real quick. Hold on. Let me look at, uh, what's his name? Uh, McCarthy. So, so fake. And I heard MTG, we'll look at her. Let's put her ass down too. I heard MTG was throwing a fit. Because they told her she couldn't speak anymore because she's calling people liars. And she didn't like that. And she went running to uh, McCarthy. Just give us, you know, we're not wishing for bad. We're not wishing for bad. We'd like to wish for bad, but it really is against the nature of this universe. We're in a real bad predicament now. Even with the weather, as you know, in the Midwest right now, there's all kinds of drama with floods and tornadoes. And we need to energetically put ourselves on a higher level and ask for the best of mankind. And they hear us, so they know what's best for us. I think Trump came in because we weren't, we're like, whatever, that, he's funny. Yeah, let's put him in. He's, I don't think people thought he would do the damage he would do. McCarthy. McCarthy fears MTG because she'll say, let's take him out. But if it's MTG bringing it up, there won't be enough. I feel like people won't do it. And she's not queen for a day without McCarthy because she tried to act like she was somebody. God love her. McCarthy. He's getting ready to go on a trip. Or did he just come back? He's getting ready to go on a trip. Yeah, he's got some heartaches coming up, you guys. Here's Trump right on top of him. Here's some money situations or not getting money. He's got money situations coming up. Um, Yeah, he's going down. His wishes will not come true. He's going down, you guys. He might not even last till November, but that's just, you know, based on the, the, the death card being a November card. Let's look at him, T.G. I know sometimes we're repeating the same thing, but I like to double check just to make sure we got all our ducks in a row. They may switch. Sometimes they have. Sometimes they've switched. We asked about Marjorie Taylor Greene. We bind her that she cannot hurt herself or hurt others. Apparently she gives a lot of money, but it's only like 30,000. So that's really not a lot of money, but I guess she thinks she's queen for a day. Did I ever tell you guys my first husband's mother? She had like 12 kids, dirt poor because her husband who was Russian left her and took a million dollars he had inherited from his grandparents who were bootleggers during the depression, during the prohibition. They had three million, each kid got a million. As soon as he got his money, he took off, left her with nine kids. And she was on queen for a day and she lost. I think it's a terrible, terrible thing. <laughs> she has a man around her now because I see her talking to a love interest. Then we'll do Jim Jordan because apparently he made he he cut and pasted something and tried to make it look like he was right about something and he wasn't. But the thing with Jim Jordan, and my friend mentioned this to me, you know, Boyne, uh, Bo Boner, whatever his name was, Boiner, you know, who used to be the, the Speaker of the House. I think he wrote a book. He said he's the one that cried over everything. He cried when the Pope was there. Um, he's he's the one that said uh, Jim Jordan is pretty ugly inside and out. He's also the one that said 
Cruz was a demon. You had to get out of there because there was no talking to Craig. Her cycle's about ready to go. Whoa, she's getting ready to go through. She's got some legal stuff coming up against her. She's holding on the best she can. She's pretty strong, you guys. She manages to flip words around. I don't see. She's, according to Andre, her cards are pretty, pretty bad. You know, I see her coming out of Congress, but I see her like making speeches and stuff. I never saw her in jail. I saw Jim Jordan in jail, but I never saw her in jail. So what's going to happen with Jim Jordan and all this spiel that he's going to do? Trying to take down Bragg. Guy never changed his shirt. We don't wish you ill. We just want to know, will you be stopped from creating political chaos and doing those lies. It's not very nice to lie, Jim. He's passionate about this particular thing, okay? Oh, he gets some money for doing this too, by the way, you guys. His cycle is upside down and he has, it, now him, I see getting in trouble more so than Marjorie Taylor Greene. He's going to look for help. He's going to look to people to help him and they won't be able to because his career is about ready to end. You know, the other one I'm feeling is getting ready to go down is Manchin. And this is the president. I'm almost feeling that when, when the second group and we take the Congress comes back, I'm almost feeling that he'll wish he hadn't done some of the stuff he did because it feels like the president isn't going to give him, um, isn't going to loosen up the chain. He's not going to get any help. Oh, did he have anything to do with uh, Bo? So, okay, hold on, you guys. Let me look real quick. Oh, yeah. Huh. Karen, she said, when will the U.S. education system begin to put their child at the center of decisions about education instead of money and politics? So many school districts practice practices across this nation are not developmentally appropriate and burn kids out by second grade. I also wanted to say how much I've enjoyed your videos and live sessions. Oh, thank you, girlfriend. The rest is stuff that could just make my head bigger. So... And I, you know, my friend that does my YouTube stuff, Dan, he says, I'm going to tell you, ever since COVID, the kids that are coming back into schools now are just like, maybe not necessarily lazy, but have no desire to do anything. And the kids were glad to get the kids out of the house. Tell me about the school system. I see a foreign agent, I don't know if it's Sweden or, it seems like a school, school districts that have a way that the United States seriously looks at and develops it within this country. Now, it might take six years, but I see them determining what a child wants going in there you know they gotta the thing is they don't what do you mean money they don't put money in the school system well they're paying the higher ups the higher end but i see it's not president Biden. it it feels like it's somebody coming in to you hear the dogs my son is here coming in and changing the school systems they might even start off in a place like California and it works so well, they pick it up like in New York and stuff. Let's look. They're gonna blow up the whole school system. 
you know, these gun shootings are still going to go on. But look at this, this new beginning. And they're going to have to put money in the schools with some sort of security gated away so you can't get in there unless you were supposed to be there. Key cards or something. They're going to make it, but it's going to be some back-to-back -back disappointments and then boom, the Ace of Cups, the Karmic Star. So the beauty of how we're going to change this system might not be in my lifetime, you guys, if I live another six years, maybe. But I see them, because there's not as many kids being born, as you know. I see them concentrating on each child's development more carefully and not overwhelming teachers with so many students. Everybody's burnt out, the kids and the teachers. Everybody's asking about SCOTUS. Oh, here we go. Con man Santos. <laughs> He's not going to get voted back in. Period. Bobert isn't going to get voted back in. Kirsten, Sen uh, what's her name? Cinnamon. I don't know about uh, the other guy, Manchin. Santos, tell me about Santos. Santos. George Santos. Yeah, he's, they're keeping him there because he'll vote however they want him to vote. What's going to happen to George Santos? He's upside down. The Justice Department will come after him. There's a woman here that's going to squeal on him. Um, God wants to give him a chance, but look at this. He's building, he's do, building his own. Karmically, if he goes with the flow and realizes there was no good in doing what he did, maybe he could save his soul, but he's kind of upside down. He, he's here, but he's in the slithering in the background, slithering in the background. Okay. Mr. Gary Peterson, a TV Emmy winning journalist in Minnesota, led the search for abducted TV news journalist Jody Sue of Mason City, Iowa, for years. He has just died. Will Jody ever be found in the new future? Is she blonde? Was she blonde, really cute, Jody Sue? Because I think I read on her before. Jody Sue. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, she's not with us anymore. Will her? Will she ever be found? Will her remains? No. No, she's. It's it's not going to happen. Sorry about that, you guys. It's been a while. I remember that years ago. Okay. So Sharon asked, do I see Jamie Raskin replacing Robert Snow as Chief Justice? No. Um, I just don't. You asked a question. I, I heard no. Hunter Biden versus Jared Kushner as far as crime and any penalties. Jared Kushner, why am I going blank? It's the way she spelled Jared Kushner is why I went blank. Okay, so the question was, Hunter Biden versus Jared Kushner as far as crime and penalty. Jared's in trouble. I've told you guys this for a while. Okay, let's take a look at both. Hunter Biden. I see Hunter Biden going to the IRS. I don't know what that's about. There might be some issues with money he owes to the IRS, but I don't see any jail. No. Jared Kushner. I've always seen him in an orange outfit. Him and his wife aren't getting along at all. He's thinking about taking off himself. His money's disappearing, something to do with money. 
his mother, which is, he might even have issues with his own mother, but I think this is Iv Ivanka. Yeah, he, he's going to struggle. I would say he might not happen until next year, you guys, but there's some big news coming up with him. Um, Ellie said, will GOP congressmen be thrown out of the House after they're investigated and hopefully found guilty by Fannie and Jack? We will get the House back by, in... Um, She put 124. We must be having some stuff coming up. We will get the house back. And I really do feel um, Fanny. And there are a couple of congressmen, but I'm definitely seeing, you know, Giuliani and the usual. They're in trouble. Oh my God, they're in so much trouble. Okay. The former prosecutor, Mark Pomerantz, this is Jewel of Tarot, is now scheduled to testify under oath to representative of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, apparently that didn't happen. Someone else came in and um, Bragg was able to stop that. Um, Carolyn, you're a lovely woman. I want to know if we will ever get some law and order back in Minneapolis. I know it's crazy. She said, currently it's the Wild West. And that's like with Florida. Who would want to go to Florida when anybody can have a gun? Kids could have a gun. Minneapolis. How are you going to do Minneapolis? I feel like they're going to get better. Yeah, there's a lot of heartbreak and legal troubles. Um, coming out of difficult waters. So yeah, there'll be some new beginnings here, you guys. Some new laws, some some things happening where they really, you know, put the clamp down. Remember how they were tech going on because that guy had died. He was killed by someone he worked with. So this was a planned kill. But the, oh God, the Republicans said it was, you know, San Francisco, it's this and it's that. And come to find out that they're their crime rates, California's crime rates, is lower than it's ever been. So um, they just look for things. They just pounce on it. But what they're doing is they're pouncing on their own energy. You can, there's two bodies. It's a physical body and there's a spiritual body. If you don't take care of your physical body, you know you'll suffer, as we can see with what happens with health. But if you don't feed your spiritual body, it's the same thing. If you go around lying and portraying this and stealing money, it, it catches up with you, you guys. No joke. Um, Dakota says, we have hearing impaired and deaf. Will the hearing impaired and deaf receive better opportunities? The right wing have stripped away a lot of the rights of those with disability. But don't worry, it's coming back. I don't want you to worry. Um, yeah, the next election will go smoothly. Someone was saying if, if the Democrat, if a Republican loses close, they may stand up and, and do what they did before, but I don't see that. They can only play its rig for so long. Donna's asking, will Holler and Crow be brought to justice for bribing Supreme Court justice? No. No, I'm sorry about that. It's got more money than God. And they're acting like it's no biggie. Well, you know, he was a friend. We all know what it looks like, but there's nothing in writing except for what he reported uh, with the IRS. Kathy, you guys look it up. Look up Palm. Pom Pomerantz. Yeah, initial judge said he had to honor the subpoena, but the judge behind that said no. Oh, yeah. Sally said, is the Satan already a goodbye for the GOP nomination? Absolutely, yes. No. <laughs> Biden will not pick Hillary. He's going to stay with Kamala. I, I'll say this to my blue in the face. He's not going to get rid of Kamala. I'm telling you. They have a good relationship. And, and 
And, you know, it would be an insult if he got rid of her. Okay, so let me go into a little bit of a deep state. Let's see what they want to tell us. A lot of these are repeat questions. A lot of these are repeat questions. Angel of light of mercy. Bring in someone who will tell us how to get through these trying times. Oh, there's still more. Oh my goodness, there's still more hurricanes, hurricane trouble, tornado trouble. Stand in the room and we will be with you. It's just not comfortable. That's the other thing. We're just getting over COVID. We got this crazy system. And I think part of the reason, and I told you guys this before, part of the reason things come down a little bit is because people are just trying to stay alive. So don't be a naysayer. Tell the realm thank you for everything you have. And know that, you know, these poor people like in Ohio and Jim Jordan doesn't do anything to help them. Oh, they they listen, they're not going to put up with it. People will need help from the government if the government turns their back. Now, thank God, Biden's in there because he'll make sure they get help. But um, also, they won't be interested. I just saw this. I see people turning their back. They're not interested in hearing anything Trump has to say. It's interesting. Might be somebody comes up, somebody else comes up to run on the Republican side that's a little bit like the guy. I think he ran for president before, but he's kind of down to earth. He's supposed to have a bad, uh, uh, he gets angry quick. I know you always say honor. They always tell me honor. Okay, so tell me what else I can tell everybody. We're just a little ways away from you. We're just a little ways away from you. You could reach out and touch us. We are always here for you. So be careful about looking what's going on. In, what That which is likened to itself is drawn. Who you are is what you're living. If you're comfortable and you're happy, your probably mindset is doing pretty good. You can't even tell me somebody like Trump with all that money and everything is happy because he's always in panic, fight or flight. So there's, they're telling me, start thinking, be sure to be in grace every day for what you do have. And know that we are with you. We're just a little ways near you. I mean, technically they're not even away from you, but, but they're almost teaching it like you could reach out for us. And if you don't know the direction, just ask. Ask and it will be given of you. We will show you how. Because there's so many people scared all the time and fear just eats you up alive. They, they consider fear like an evil. There, there was fear of fight or flight that we had in our younger human days. But now what happens is we see, we seem to fear, like well, sometimes when I talk to people, they're already fearing things that don't happen. Well, you know what? I need to that because what if this and what if, what if? Well, it's not here. To, why don't you live for today? Be in the now. Okay, let's see if we can get somebody in here. Just heard a man say, I am happy to attend your needs. He feels like someone I wouldn't know his name, how to pronounce his name. He feels like a philosopher, someone from ancient times, but he's high up on the monarchy over there. Prepare is what he's saying. And try not to lay in it too much because there's a lot of things our eyes, geez, we've already witnessed so much, but our eyes are going to witness some major changes. But know that when it happens, 
just take the dust off of you and know that this was the the reason it's happening is to to answer your prayers because people are really tired of all this negative energy so what what we will we'll do is sort of implode and then make things calmer like right now the earth is acting that way because we weren't treating it very well and so it's creating all kinds of chaos but then it's gonna it's gonna come out you will have paradise on earth at some point in time that he just said i see letters i don't know if they're greek letters or what but very you know could even be egyptian type letters i'm seeing the the z a z We're just a little ways above your head. And every time you ask, we listen, we hear, we know what you need before you even ask for it. But man's consciousness requires free will. In order to receive, you need to ask for it. We just can't go in and make it happen. Please don't lose faith. Faith is all that we have. Faith is our nourishment. Faith is the way to go. And don't be afraid of death. It's just a, st a step into a, a, a finer collective consciousness. This is the hardship is being an earth being on earth. I see a bunch of men sitting together. I think one of them could be Ulysses S. Grant, Robert E. Lee, Abraham Lincoln. It's a table. It's a round table. I see chairs. They don't don't look comfortable. <laughs> Grant's still smoking, by the way. You know, they bore their own sins. But a lot of men, a lot of people died to save this country. Robert E. Lee has been begging for forgiveness, but he's forgiven. He's just not understanding. It's very sad for him because a lot of this energy from the from from the people of the Earth plane is that Robert E. Lee. You know, it's our way. We don't need you to hell with you. But. It's like what it's like they're not saying why are you doing this? They know why we're doing this. And they know that this is part of the cathartic energies that need to take place to come to a better America. Now they're just talking about America. Show grace, America. And don't worry about money. For some reason they, they keep emphasizing that the money situation is going to be fine. And when things happen and they scare you, just say, thy will be done. Thy will be done. And I know it's for in betterment of mankind. Don't cry for those who have been lost because they're not gone. They are always with us. They, you know, he's not saying they're the lucky ones, but they're saying they're the ones that get to um, feed on the, the, the manna of heaven. vibrationally, if we could see with their eyes, we would not worry about a thing. If we could hear what they hear, see what they see, feel what they feel. The most important thing man has is free will. And the most important thing we can do is to show mercy at all times. Show love to your fellow men. And always shoot out a prayer for those that need it. Just shoot it out. Just shoot it out. Like if I see something on the news, I shoot it out. Shoot out a prayer. Because surprisingly, those help. All right, you guys. So I don't know how long I've been on, but oh God, that kind of got me high as a kite. <laughs> 
So I love you all. I'll be on tomorrow with our favorite guy, um, Sterling. I, we haven't been on with him for a while because I was gone Easter Sunday, so we weren't able to do that Sunday. All right, you guys. Love you. Cheers.